Hello, I'm Kotarovsky and today I will talk about Ippon. We know, we everybody knows Ippon if you are judokas, even Japanese people. And I would like to talk about this Ippon today. So let's go. So the first one, why we say Ippon? For the highest score and I I heard that and I also looked up the meaning and it says Japanese disciplines like judo, kendo, shogi, shogi is a Japanese chess and some other martial arts from Japan they have saying Ippon for one fight like a contest it means a contest and there are some uh, explanation and description about this why it, it's called Ippon some people are saying in before the people two persons had to fight in front of emperor and one person if one person win won the another person must be dead and two persons goes into the contest area contest area and only one person comes out after the fights that's why only one life is coming back and just Ippon it means one and the second thing in first number one team and Japanese way to count this is what I talked about that now before because there are many ways to count in Japanese language normally we can say just a numbers like ich ni san uh, ich ni san shi go rok shich hach kyu ju. There are some few other ways to count, but normally ich ni san shi go rok shich hach kyu ju. This is normal counting. And but when you count something some things like a pen, this must be ippon. Nihon and Sambon. Pronunciation is gonna be a little bit different. For example, for books and kind of sticks things like, mm, for example, pens and for example, this. This is a stretch ball. This is kind of an interesting thing because if you tap, it's gonna be vibrating. This is good. It's called uh, oh so strong. <laughs> okay, this is from Doctor Air. I got it uh, for a promotion from Doctor Air Warsaw. Doctor Air in Poland. So this is also one and one Doctor Air stretch ball, and it's called Ippon. And if it was two things, each ni and Nihon and there are some ways to count normally it's Hon and Ippon Nihon San Bon it's B sounds it sounds B Yon Hon Go Hon Rok Pon Nana Hon Hap Pon Kyu Hon Ju Pon you don't have to learn about this for now but there are kind of the ways to count things for example, this, for example, if it's these things, hitotsu, futatsu, mitsu, it's so complicated and difficult. So, the second thing is about judoka language. It's like additional part. We have our own common language, like judoka language, <laughs> judo language. And as we have in rules, it's Japanese language, but you, you know the meanings of this Japanese language. So we use this sometimes, like Hansoku, it means cheating and breaking, breaking rules. And Mata, it's meaning wait. And if you want to say that more in friendly, Mata, you can say, like, not like Mata. <laughs> Officially, it's like Mata. But it, it should be more like Mata, Mata. And third one, it's Hajime, like, 
it, it's just generally it's used by Japanese uh, general people so these three words you can use in Jap like when you try to tell something tell three like cheating or breaking rules or weight or start not that much <laughs> the, the expressions we don't have so much expressions but if you wanna say something or tell something to these things to Japanese people like, like please wait Matte, matte. You can say, and it's it should be working. It's interesting. And third one. Today we learned about ippon, and ippon means one. And when the referee says ippon, they raise their hand, and it means this is one hand, and it shows that this is one. But in before judo. I don't remember 19 something in years they had to win two ippons they had to win and if you took the one player won and the referee will say ippon and another fight starts and if she took another ippon he will win I looked up some uh, Japanese judo history then I found out that but now we have only ippon, and if you took only one ippon, it's meaning doubles, but one ippon, if you took one ippon, it's finishing your fight. And you will get another fight till the final. Now you know what it means. Ippon serenage. Ippon serenage, you can imagine. Now everybody's are saying serenage for expressing Ippon Serenage. It's so confusing me. It was so confusing me and when I came to Poland and when I started coaching in Poland everybody say go Ip go Serenage, go Serenage and the players, uh, contestors are doing just Ippon Serenage hmm? and for me it was very uh, confusing and it was different <clears throat> and I thought like oh the, your coaches and your audience is going to say Ippon Doing serenage, doing serenage. You must do serenage, but why you are doing ippon serenage? But I found out that in whole Europe or just in Poland, uh, people are saying serenage for ippon serenage. So let's call it more correctly, like ippon serenage. It's sorry, you love. You're my uke. <laughs> ippon serenage, you. Grip only one and you take techniques. So if you do serenage by only one hand, it means ippon serenage. <laughs> so if you do normal serenage, it means just two hands used. Two arms used, two hands used. So please don't say serenage for ippon serenage. And that's it. For today so for this thing use just one arm that's why this is one and ippo means one that's why it's called thank you for listening and see you next time bye bye